Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Passport Pages and today we are going to be discussing 15 tips on how to save money whilst traveling. Traveling is extremely expensive and you do want to save as much as possible while still having a good time. But here are some tips that are gonna really help you. Make sure you stay tuned, give this video a thumbs up and we're gonna get straight into it. Okay, so my first tip would be to always find the cheapest flights. Thankfully, we have platforms like Skyscanner which allow you to compare the prices of flights. But you do want to be careful when you're looking at some of these flight comparison sites because some of the websites can be a little bit greedy and now start installing cookies on your computer which will make the price go higher the more you search. Sometimes these travel sites can also tack on some hidden fees so just be careful and make sure you're going to the right websites. In order to find some of the cheapest flights then you definitely do want to be looking at not going direct because going direct on a flight can be very expensive whereas if you do a stopover this can be cheap. Although not all stopovers are very glamorous and it can be a little bit inconvenient, it definitely does help to save a lot more on your cost of the trip. When I went to Bali, I actually managed to snag an amazing deal of £534 for my flight ticket, which was including the flight there and the flight back. And the reason why it was so cheap is because I did a stopover in Amsterdam and China. Now China was about a 19 hour layover, whereas Amsterdam was only one hour. And altogether, this was quite a long layover for me because I've never done something like that, but it definitely did help to save me a lot of money. So when you're trying to find a cheap flight, then you do want to take into consideration just a few things to make sure you are getting the best deal on your flight possible. So the first thing that I would recommend when trying to find a cheaper flight is trying to fly midweek. When you fly midweek, then there's much less competition for tickets. A lot of people are at work during this time, so they're not really flying and you're bound to find something cheaper than at the weekend. So the next thing that you want to do is also have your flight leave at an unpopular time. So this could be maybe 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., all of these unconventional hours that nobody really wants to be leaving their house to get to the airport for. You'll find that these flights are a lot cheaper than the ones that are during the daytime or the ones that are more easily accessible to everyone. Okay, so the next thing is also trying to travel on off seasons. Off seasons are typically when children are at school and not on holiday time or half term. On half terms, I noticed that the prices for flights usually tend to spike and that is just because there's an increased demand for flights and if you know about supply and demand, the higher the demand, the higher the price, the lower the demand, the lower the price. So you definitely do want to try and travel on off seasons when kids are at school. Another thing that you can do to save money is get a house instead of a hotel. With Airbnb, you can actually hire out some really cool houses that would allow you to save way more than if you were staying in a hotel. Some of them even have kitchens, which is bringing me onto my next point. You want to try and save money by cooking whilst you're on your travels. Cooking is very long and annoying, but you definitely want to be utilizing the kitchen space in any home that you decide to go for, just to save you that extra bit of cash. I'd also say that Airbnbs are the most cost effective, especially if you are traveling with two or more people simply because you don't want to end up getting two hotel rooms when you can just get one Airbnb which has several rooms. So if you do prefer to have a hotel stay for whatever reason then you do want to make sure that you are finding the cheapest hotel. I've made a video on how to book a good room on a budget so if you want to see it in more detail then make sure you click the link above but typically you do want to be using hotel comparison sites to find the best deals for you for your trip. Some hotels even have their own reward schemes with no credit cards required. So make sure you're checking with these hotels if they have any reward schemes and save even more money while you're traveling. The next thing that I would recommend to save money while traveling is to find all-inclusive stays that are very cost effective. I have used a platform called Teletext Holidays which allows you to find some really good deals for your trip. These typically include flights, hotel, full board, half board, and maybe even some extras like spa facility credit. There are some deals on Teletext holidays specifically, which are amazing. And sometimes they even let you pay in installments, which I think is fantastic. 
So another thing that you can do to save money while traveling or even make money while traveling is to sign up to cashback sites. So there are some websites such as Ibotta and Ebates which are known for giving cashback on purchases. But the good thing about these websites is that anything that you were going to spend already, you can actually make money back on that purchase, which is just absolutely amazing. And they have so many offers on car rentals, hotel stays, and much more. So just check those out and then you can earn some money back on your travel purchases. So if for whatever reason you're not the type to want to cook whilst you're on holiday because you're just too busy enjoying yourself, then you can still eat out, but just make sure that you're getting a deal on every single meal that you have. Using websites like Groupon, you can actually get loads of fantastic deals on restaurants around the world which allow you to save oodles of cash. There is absolutely no shame in getting these vouchers off of Groupon and saving some coin on that purchase that you are going to make anyway. So make sure that you're doing that and saving money on each meal. If you can't find any of the deals that you're after on Groupon, then why not try some street food? When I was in Bali, I actually found a really nice street food restaurant, which was really close to my accommodation in Ubud, and I ended up saving a lot of cash in comparison to what I would have spent if I was eating out every single day. You do want to make sure that you are going to restaurants that are recommended by other tourists, just to ensure that you're not going to places that can cause you to have diarrhea due to lack of sanitation and things like that. So just be careful with that. But, okay, so another thing that you want to do to save money while traveling is to pack light on your travels. You can often save a lot more money if you're just taking a carry-on because sometimes airlines charge for a second bag and if they do, then you may just wanna leave that one out and just hustle it with one bag. If you are just taking a carry-on on your travels, then make sure that you bring something that is very sizable, that can fit a lot of your stuff in, such as a backpack. This can help you to bring way more things than if you were just to bring maybe a small purse or a handbag. And that way you'll be fully utilizing your carry-on luggage allowance and saving money in the process too. So if you're not a minimalist, then having just one bag for your travels can end up being a little bit tight. So my advice is to just make sure that when you're checking for your airline flight, make sure that your checked in luggage is included in the total price. If you want to save money while traveling, then it's all well and good to listen to all these tips and implement them. But you also do want to make sure that you have a travel budget in place. It's very important to budget your trip. Plan out what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis and make sure that you have enough for each day. So this is definitely the best way to save money while you're traveling because you don't want to be hit with any surprises. So doing your planning and preparation for your trip can definitely help you. If you've watched my video on the mistakes that I made when I traveled solo to Bali, then you'll understand the importance of budgeting on your trip. Okay hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been really helpful for you. These are a summary of the 15 tips that we spoke about in this video that you should be implementing on your travels to save you some money. Thank you so much. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.